Oh man, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Before we start this video, I am not trying to hype this up. I am incredibly skeptical, incredibly cautious. I actually feel like the community is more optimistic than I am on this. I waited a full 24 hours, hoping that something would give us some more deets on what this is all about. But people are going crazy. People, you know what? I hope I'm wrong here, but people are looking into this new data mine that's pulling out this new sandbox thing and I don't know if it's this sandbox what we want. I, I want to be optimistic, but man, CG has shot down that dream many, a many times. Come on over. We're going to talk about this data mine that was pulled up uh, technically yesterday. But again, I was I was hoping some details would show up, show up, but people aren't sure. There's a big update coming next week. We also seem to have a the PC version coming to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes very shortly. I'm not sure about next week, but shortly we have a lot of data mines indicating PC, Windows, related things we also have some indication about a new chase mode so likely a chase event i should say so probably new ship something like that and it looks like cg is working on their jar jar kit reveal i'm expecting that's probably going to come out around may 4th if my that's my guesstimation but anyways the reason why we're here and again i wish i can get on the kyber club dance floor i wish i can scream and shout and get happy about this i'm going to show you why and <laughs> i'm not <sighs> but i want to be wrong i truly do i mean the, the Let's just get to this. All right, let's just get oh, All right, read this with me. So in the data mine, there's a long list of stuff. Seems like a lot of like just bare bones, you know, UI tutorial stuff on Galaxy. But it's all PC. So you see PC, 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 PC. Remember, if you missed it, big announcement. This is a big deal. We're getting a PC client for Star Wars Galaxy, which is big on many degrees. We're going to get higher FPS, higher resolution, textures. It's going to reach an audience that maybe does, don't want to play Galaxy because mobile games are stinky. But if it's a PC version with it, we're good to go at that point. Uh, but beyond that, and it's also, I think, a commitment that Galaxy is going to be around for many, many more years. And Siege is going to make a lot more money skipping out on the Apple and Google fees. Anyways, that's coming out shortly. But in the data mines, I miss all this PC stuff. We have this thing here that says message new sandbox client message pc good news a new update is available for blah click below to open sandbox and install the new update now again i people are messaging me i've been getting emails about it's like i don't know the sandbox mode is coming and i don't want to be the bearer of bad news i don't feel it i don't believe it it seems too good to be true until we get a road ahead or a developer statement or some article on some weird website like how the pc client update was i just don't see this being a thing i believe this is just computer programming terminology sandbox what i mean it's a terminology and i'll pull it up in a second it's terminology used in, when you're coding so i believe all this is talking about is the client for pc the client is the sandbox for pc if i understand this so i um i wish i could be more hyped about it again i want to see it happen but beyond just my feelings uh, it's just cg has kind of addressed this matter the last time they really talked about this was five years ago and this is where I just decided to, to let my hopes and dreams of a sandbox mode go away. It sucks, trust me. The number one most requested thing in the community, uh, by far, I, I promise you, if there was a survey, like an accurate survey, the number one most requested thing would be a sandbox mode. I don't play many live service games where there's no way of playing with your friends. It's completely insane <laughs> that you can't hang out with your friends. You can't have a private matches. And I'm gonna show you other games, it's very similar to Galaxy's. I would say a clone of Galaxy's have it, but the last time they talked about this, and this obviously comes up every Q&A, this is during a Q&A way back when, but as the team seriously considered adding some kind of sandbox mode, that would allow us to use our full roster. Now, not to say we don't have game modes that let you use your full roster. I mean, five years ago was a while ago, but since then, you know, we have grand arenas, you know, you got territory battles. I would say those use a, at least a big chunk of your roster. Top Hat, uh, I, I actually don't know what role he is now. I know he's, I think he's a little bit higher up and makes bigger decisions for the game now. We've talked about it before a number of times and given answers to it. Our disposition is still the same. In our experience running this game, we have yet to see anything that would indicate to us that a mode that does not yield rewards, aka does not yield money, would be played with by more than a handful of players. In general, players do things that net progress in the game, thing that they don't yield progress in, they don't engage with. We've talked about creating an experiment to test this further, but it takes away from building bigger things. So what he's saying is uh, one it's a cop out but also at the other end of the spectrum there is a degree of truth in this you know there's a core loop when you're designing a game there's a core loop you want people to play something where they're going to get some sort of reward to then try to build up their arsenal and to keep the loop going if you understand the drift here 
with the sandbox, but if you're playing it for no rewards and you're just playing it for fun, I know. A novel concept, playing with your friends that they have fun. I mean, do you guys understand what 2024 gaming is nowadays? When you're doing it just for fun, there's no rewards out of except just this, the good old gamesmanship spirit and enjoying hanging out with your friends and all that fun stuff. So I get what they're saying, and that's why I kind of stopped wanting to really talk about it because I don't see it happening. No, we're not going to update. Don't you dare. I know it's a sad conversation, a hard truth, perhaps, right now. Um, unless they find a way to make money. I mean, maybe, shoot, man, maybe they throw it on their Conquest Pass Plus. You buy it, it turns it on. I'm sure that would get them up and running. And shoot, I would probably buy the Conquest Pass Plus for the first time if there's a sandbox mode attached. Another thing that's not really confirmed here, and I would just say take it as hearsay, I hear things where at one point when the content creators and big community members outside of content creation had access to a sandbox, so basically a private server, where we were able to do crazy, crazy stuff. Allegedly, big spenders didn't like that myself and others. Day one, we're showing how to beat like Darth Revan, General Skywalker, all these big things because they, they spend big money. And the game players like you know players like that or even developers they kind of like lack of information out there because one it respects their investment two it might scare you like oh this team looks so good i gotta spend money right now so that's why you know I, I take what we do the day one testing with a lot of pride because i feel like capital games doesn't want me showing how good or how bad something is they'd rather just have this air of mysticism out there and not knowing how to counter a variety of things anyways just with those few reasons right there from this right here, not working into their core loop, how they don't know how to make money off it. And um, just in general, uh, there might be some uninterested parties that don't want people, you know, practicing in a sandbox mode to then go into Grand Arena after they practice 50 times and beat these big whales. You see where they can maybe have issues uh, with that here. But I, I do want to make it known, in case you haven't seen it already, uh, Marvel Strike Force, literally, you know, close to a clone as possible to Galaxy of Heroes, uh, learned a lot, was inspired a lot by Galaxy Heroes. They have a several sandbox modes. And, you know, for my Marvel Strike Force fans down below, the, the, the post that I got was that it wasn't like well received or it's not really like the main focus of Marvel Strike Force. So that's maybe another reason why maybe Capital Games saw this. Here's, for example, a draft mode where in real time you match up with another player. And you guys both pick the teams and you guys fight in real time, which is cool. Uh, uh, again, I could be wrong, but I don't think this really like took off, became the main focus because again, there really weren't any rewards attached to it. So this, I thought, again, it would be cool. I would love to have something like this so we could set up tournaments, have fun, test out new things. I think it's a great community thing just because it doesn't yield rewards or money. It'd be nice just to have, it just, it's just there. It's not the main focus of the game, but at least it's there so you can play with your friends. So this is the 1v1 real-time game mode. I, again, I would love to have something like this. And then also, uh, a little bit later, they added a sandbox mode for inter-guild play. So when, for example, there's no territory war going on, or there they call it alliance war, during like the off day, you can practice and theory craft, uh, master your counters inside of territory wars, with your guild. So they have an interpersonal, real-time, 1v1 uh, sandbox mode, and then they have a guild sandbox mode as well. So it, I get the sense of it again. You know, it doesn't make money. Uh, it's not gonna, no one's gonna really play it for rewards, but it, it would just be nice to have it there, just to play again. It's a game we wanna have fun. Not everything needs to be a perpetual grind. Sometimes you wanna get off the hamster wheel and just screw around and have fun. But again, uh, as much as I really wanna believe, this down here, I uh, I think people might be looking too much into it. And, uh, you know, as I, I would love to hype it up. I just, I can't. I want to be wrong. I really do. Hey, they surprised me with the PC, uh, the, the PC version of Galaxy Heroes, even though it made financial sense. And I've been urging them for years to do it. I gave up because I thought they don't like money. <laughs> They're just too lazy. But they are taking advantage of it because it is a big financial ince incentive to do it. With this, I don't know if there's an incentive. And uh, just in case you're curious, I mean, there is some terminology out there about sandboxing in case you want to know. So a sandbox is a system that allows an untrusted application to run in a highly controlled environment where the application's permissions are restricted to essential set of computer permissions. And that's what I think. It's just a, it's a fancy way of saying the app. It's, it's allowed to run on the uh, on the PC. So I, I trust me, I hope I'm wrong. It would be the most requesting, the biggest W in Galaxy Heroes history. I just, um, I just, any other studio for sure. Like Scopely, if it was Scopely, 100% it would happen. I don't see Capital Games doing it. I just plain and simple. I uh, hate being the bear of bad news, 
But you know what? I want to be wrong. I want people saying, you know, Arnold, you're wrong. I, this, the, I really want to be wrong here. Anyways, uh, a few more additional little tidbits before we get going. Oh, the sandbox mode, man, drives me crazy. It's, just, it's such a simple thing, such an easy dunk. So simple to set up to an IMO. But uh, anyways, alas, uh, it looks like in the data mine, there's a variety of bundles. The bundles got pulled up. I'm not seeing any character bundles, which usually means, you know, new characters around the corner. But we do have a chase bundle, which might be alluding to, a, you know, a galactic chase, which the more energy you spend, the more shards you get. So it's, it's almost like a marquee event. So usually reserved for fleet uh, ships. So, you know, TIE Defender, Comeuppance, all of those fancy Sith ships that came out last year. So maybe we're going to get some stuff. Usually in the first part of the year is when we get these galactic chase ships because sometime later on the summer, fall, we get a new Big Daddy capital ship. So keep your eyes peeled. Maybe this might be in the next big up theme, the next week or two that we got coming up. Other little things that were pulled up here in case you're curious. It's definitely starting to feel like that whole territory battle thing that uh, that was a little broken. It was probably because of Mandalore. We're seeing pictures of what looks to be maybe the Mandalore landscape that they might be using for the Mandalore Territory Battle Planetary Expansion that looks like it's going to be coming like the next update or so here. And lastly, it looks like uh, developers are working on the Jar Jar kit reveal, if I had to guess. Sorry about being MIA today. Been writing up a very chaotic kit reveal. So I expect Jar Jar Binks to show up within the next couple weeks. My guess is they're probably going to make a May 4th announcement with it. You know, celebrate the festivities with Star Wars' favorite character out there. But I, I digress. Um again as i said i want to make it very clear from the beginning the title i don't i don't want to be given hope about this thing here with the sandbox so i want it to happen but just cg time and time again has shot the idea down number one if it doesn't make the money they're not going to do it but i'm just saying oh geez i know they keep asking why aren't the wheels buying their conquest pass plus but shoot i haven't bought it once i would hate that they gate uh, the feature everyone wants behind a 30 dollars per two week pass but crap man that uh, that actually might make me buy the pass so <laughs> anyways we're gonna wrap it up right there ladies and gentlemen on odd old holonet news man oh man oh man let me know your thoughts down below maybe you're more optimistic than i am you know i want to be the guy that's partying the dance for yelling to the rooftops but I, I i straight from the get-go i'm just letting you guys know i don't believe it i think it's just some pc computer nerd jargon thing thrown out there but please give me hope let me know if you believe there's some secret thing coming in the next update over the next week or two until then leave that like comment down below subscribe so you're not missing a thing thanks for stopping by and more importantly always remember how it's great to be in the empire today Silence.